This week in Wolves Best Guns, we are looking at St. James's Park in London, next to Buckingham Palace, and it was designed by John Nash. We're going to have a quick look at the history first, and then we'll have a look at the gardens. During the Middle Ages, leprosy was quite common. A hospital was built near Westminster Abbey in 1189 to take care of these sick people. The hospital was known as St. James the Less, and this is where the name of St. James Park comes from. In 1531, Henry VIII confiscated the lands. He removed the hospital to build his hunting lodge, and the grounds were used to hunt deer. In 1602, during the reign of King James I, the land was drained as it was a bit swampy in parts. James I collected many exotic animals, and he housed them in the park. The animals included many exotic birds and elephant and camels. After his death, however, the park declined through neglect. In the 1660s, under the reign of King Charles II, the park underwent a transformation, led by the landscape designer André Millet. The redesign included a formal design similar to the French gardens of the time, like Versailles. Long straight canals were excavated and avenues of trees planted with formal gardens. In the 1820s, another transformation took place, this time under the rule of King George IV. It was led by the architect John Nash, who redesigned to reflect the fashion of the day, which was romantic, natural landscapes, similar to Stourhead and Stowe. Curving, meandering paths and a serpentine lake were incorporated. The, garden, the gardens were open to the general public in 1887. Tropical garden I didn't think I would see in England. So we've got some banana palms and some coleus, some erosings down there, and a few panga ferns, a ficus, a palm. This is quite an amazing little garden. Okay, so these plants all will be left in around about October and put back into the glass houses. But we've got quite a few different ranges here. We just saw a nice little purple Dechira, Abyssinian bananas and all sorts of asparagus in there. A real nice mix. This is like a perennial border. 
God, I was just saying this grass is so good, but it's just been laid, it's just new turf. You can see all the different things down here. We've got some impatiens there, some salvias at the back, some rutabacchias, and some cannas, petunias. Beautiful display. Osteospernums there, the little orange one is an osteospernum. Marigold zinnias at the front, that is at the back, and then we'll just pan around. Let's have a quick look down here. Some beautiful looking dahlias. There's some ivy pelagonians there, the little pink one. Some marigolds, oh sorry, zinnias. And then we're going up there, those look like nicotinias. And some more. Patients, dahlias, and down there. So that concludes the video of St. James's Park, just near Buckingham Palace there. Well worth a visit if you're in the area. We thoroughly enjoyed the day. It's there's a lot of uh, natural wildlife and really nice plantings.